The original Embroider Buddy from Creature Comforts Toys is the very best way to send a personalized keepsake message. Each animal was designed especially with embroidery in mind. Designer Donna Coatser Jacobs cleverly hid a zipper in the bottom of each animal, allowing you to remove a self-contained stuffing pod. Most characters also have a removable head pod, making it easy to hoop the animal flat and embroider on any embroidery machine. I'll show you how now. The most common embroidery location for an EB is the front of the animal, but EBs can also be embroidered on the bottom or the back of the animal, which are great locations for a commemorative date or the giver's name. To begin, mark the embroidery location on your embroider buddy using painter's tape. Painter's tape has a low tack adhesive that is easily removed and won't damage the plush fabric. Draw an arrow on the painter's tape. This will represent the center of the design and it will help remind you to turn the design at the machine if necessary toward the head of the EB embroider character. Look for the seams at the neck and at the bottom of the body to use as reference points for locating the center of the EB. Place the painter's tape that you marked with the center reference for the center of the design using these as references. Unzip the zipper and remove the stuffing pods. Now we'll select an appropriate hoop size. Hoop sizes that are suitable for 16 inch EBs include 4 inch square, 15 centimeter round, 5 inch square, and various size fast frames and all-in-one fixtures. If you will be embroidering a one color name or personalized message, you can hoop the EB character without stabilizer and float the stabilizer beneath the hoop at the machine. If your embroidery has outlining or detail, you will want to hoop the EB with a piece of cutaway stabilizer. You may find this easiest to do by lightly spraying the back of the stabilizer with embroidery spray adhesive. Attach the cutaway to the inside of the EB character in the embroidery area. Insert the outer ring inside the embroider buddy. Place the inner ring on top, maneuvering the inner ring to align as closely as possible with the placement tape. Remember, you can use the seams top and bottom as references for centering, as well as your tape. After he's in the hoop, it's okay to give him a little tug to smooth the fabric and complete the centering. At the machine, we'll be centering the dot under the needle, and after centering, we'll apply a piece of water-soluble topping lightly sprayed with embroidery spray adhesive. Check your bobbin to make sure there's enough thread to complete the stitching on your embroider buddy. Insert the hoop and lock it into place. Rotate the design to the proper direction based on your hooping. Match the needle position to the center mark on your tape and then remove the tape. Lightly spray a piece of water-soluble topping with embroidery spray adhesive and finger press it over the EB in the embroidery location. Trace, if desired, to verify the embroidery location, and you're ready to stitch your EB. Looks like he's enjoying it, too. Remove the embroider buddy from the hoop. Trim any loose threads 
and pull away the excess topping. Remove the stabilizer. Now you're ready to bring your embroider buddy to life. Insert the head pod first, taking note of the direction of the pod that will best fill the head area. You'll want to fill out the face. Some pods are marked with a B or an F indicating front or back. Insert the belly pod. Zip up the hidden zipper and add any special touches, like a bow. Make sure that additions like neck ribbons are age appropriate and get ready to enjoy seeing your embroidered buddy creation become someone's best friend for life.